Welcome back to the Conticle People Podcast, featuring myself, Spencer, and my friend Matt with the Wrong NFL one. Gaming TV. Oh, oh no, switch it, switch it quick. Wrong. Uh, ah, fixed it. Ah, and <laughs> featuring <laughs> Coulter and D with Rogue Rage Gaming. Where for where art thou, fist cake? We will never know. He is lost in the annals of history. We'll be back next time. What are you talking about? We we are fist cake. <laughs> you were for a second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, that's it's a fusion. So when you and Deanna fuse, you become fizz cake. And then when you obviously run out of the 30 minute yeah, time yeah, limit, yeah. you split. Pretty much. I mean, I didn't want to uh, spoil fizz cake's whole repertoire, but that's, that's his, his gimmick is he's both of us combined. And then we split up and we're rogue rage. Mm -hmm. What happens um, if you're, if, if you're fused together and then at the same time, D like gives birth then that means fist cake gives oh, birth oh shit yeah fist cake gives birth <laughs> yeah. fist cake i didn't know you're pregnant oh. Oh. <laughs> oh oh hilarious all right guys how's it going uh we're gonna start with what we did this week and what'd you guys play this week uh i've been slay playing playing a lot of slay the spire a lot of uh i've actually picked up a bit more siege kind of gone back to it dabbled a little bit here and there but Mainly Slay the Spire. Put a lot of time into that game so yeah. far. What else? Um, not a whole lot That's besides that. Yeah. yeah. Kind of <laughs> literally yeah. binging it. Literally, kind of binging live, it. Yeah. I live breathing. Yeah. yeah, sleep, Slay the Spire. Yeah, she had a, a dream the other day. Uh, she woke up and she's like, I was, I was dreaming about Slay the Spire. I had a really cool deck, and I'm like, then you <laughs> should it stop was playing. Sad. It was pathetic. I'm like, you should. <laughs> Like, cut yourself off a little bit. <laughs> oh, and then a couple nights later, who has yeah. a dream about Slay the Spire? Wait, you were talking, or you were playing it that night, I think, while oh. I was sleeping. And so it's like the sounds and everything were already in yeah. my head. I was, I was imagining just striking someone. And, yeah. <laughs> You're just hearing Dee's no. voice going, ah, fuck! No, That's I not that. optimal. Yeah, exactly. Should have flexed first. <laughs> oh, <laughs> exactly. yeah, man. No. <laughs> Did yeah. you pick up Snacko? Always, <laughs> yeah. always pick up Snacko's. Oh. He's gonna have a, 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 a dream later on where it's it's just him and he's going up. He, it's like he's died, and then just he opens up the gates and there's Snacko and just like he gives him his <laughs> eye. Exactly. <laughs> he just exactly. Removes his eye and hands me. Him. <laughs> uh, what about you guys? Oh, what do we play? Uh, well, I I very rarely play games outside of what we like play on stream lately so it's been mm -hmm. like you know slay the spire siege uh on monday we played dbf yeah we played it was pretty fun nice yeah yeah that game's a lot of fun actually yeah weren't you guys cool. playing the uh the modded melee thing uh two the super smash flash maybe yeah i we, think we, so. we did that oh no are you talking about the smash 4 mod where it makes it like melee Maybe. No, I don't really know. I got yeah. to see it for like two seconds and then you guys were offline when I was checked. Yesterday? Next. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That yeah, was Super Smash Flash. Super Smash Flash 2. That game is okay. That game is not okay. very good. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Well, it was such a bitch to set up because it's a Flash based game, but it, it, they have their own um, client that you can download and play through. But one of the problems is you, when you're playing with the, with the GameCube controllers, you can't just plug those into the computer. You have to put them through an adapter. Right. So when we put it through the adapter, it doesn't, the game, I don't know what's wrong with it, but it, it doesn't read the USB appropriately. And so, like, if uh -oh. you're in position one and position two in the adapter, that doesn't mean no, you're that in position one and two in the actual in the game. game. In the game. Wow. When you're choosing your controller. And then you have to set up all your buttons manually. Um, oh, that's pretty nice. Uh. And if you use the mouse, it messes up, like, the second yeah, it's player's like, stuff. Oh, I think, yeah, mouse, keyboards player is number two now, right? No, bitch. It's like I set up all the buttons for controller. I'm just using the mouse to navigate the menu. It's like, yeah, but you want to play with like the keyboard and mouse, right? Yeah. Bitch, no, uh -oh. I don't. What did so I just fucking tell you? What did I just tell you? It, it happened like four times in a row, and we almost, I, like, honestly, I could feel Matt, right? Like, we almost gave up. And when I say we almost, I mean Matt almost just closed the game. Yeah, I almost <laughs> yeah, just I that. started. Yeah. yeah. But then once we got going, it had some really cool ideas for some non-usual Smash characters. Like, yeah. we were playing, they have Goku in it, they have Naruto, which is hilarious. Don't uh, they, they have, like, oh. the Thousand Punch guy? 
No. Yeah. Uh, what? You talking about the guy from One Punch? Not One yeah, Punch. Yeah, One Punch. No, the no, pirate. No, one. They have Luffy from the, uh, Luffy from one the pirate. Piece. One Piece. One Piece. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, they have Luffy from One Piece. And he that sucks. Game was, yeah, yeah. I played him. I was like, this guy is garbage. They also have Ichigo from Bleach. And that, and he was okay. He was basically like Cloud is in uh, Smash Four. Yeah, they mm-hmm. had Sora from Kingdom Hearts. I played him. Sora had some interesting stuff. Yeah, they all have some cool ideas. <laughs> they have Black Mage. It's just not like well polished yet. Yeah, or... it's all it's super. Gotcha. It's super jank. It's super jank. They kind of went like as far as they could with like how weird they could make some of the abilities. Um, uh-huh. and so in like certain some characters just feel like they have much more of an advantage than other characters and other characters they feel like they could be cool but it's just so difficult to get whatever it is that they have going on to work yeah so um but that was you know it was, it was an experience it was, it was kind of cool it was an experience. Um, <laughs> uh, what do we play on wednesday do you play anything on wednesday wednesday what did we, we didn't do final fantasy 8 no we did something else what the fuck was that we... when we played dbfc because we played slate spire on monday Oh, we did do some Divinity as well. Yeah, we did Divinity. We got that. Yeah. We, got we that finally got that to work, yeah. 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 Did you just, like, give up on streaming that and just decide just to play with us to have fun? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah pretty yeah, that, much. That's how we yeah. fix that. You just weren't streaming it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I'm but just like, yeah, well, don't need to stream that half. It's fine. <laughs> you got Matt's perspective. He can exactly. see all four characters. It's all fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, yeah, I think we played uh, Dragon Ball on that day. Yeah, and I like I like Dragon Ball a lot. Uh, it's definitely different than Smash, which I'm actually good at. And then what was really traditional <laughs> fighters, I'm not very good at. What was really interesting is is there was like a 20 minute, 30 minute period at the beginning of that stream where like I had no idea what the fuck I was doing, and Matt was like totally kicking my ass. And then I had to just like, Matt, please tell me, what are you doing? How are you doing these things? Because I'm feeling really bad because you're just destroying me. <laughs> and then once I figured it out, it became much more interesting. And honestly, I think what saved the stream, at least for me, was we started doing the arcade mode where we were just Uh-oh. taking turns against the, the, uh, the CPU. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-oh. Is that when Matt started getting his ass kicked? Yeah. Rage yeah. quit? Mm-hmm. Rage quit. <laughs> nah. I came back stronger. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> and so I, strong. Yeah, <laughs> I was so strong. Uh-huh. And then, uh, uh, you know, surmounted my Uh-oh. demons. Yeah. So you must have you must have used flex. No. Yeah. I did. Yeah. yeah. See, before I was just like, eh, just attack, strike, strike, and I would ignore all my good cards, and then yeah. you know, uh huh. I well, went okay. to a, the fucking shop and they had apotheosis, and I was two gold shy. Feels bad, man. Uh, uh, yeah. Feels bad, man. And then we were playing <laughs> Monster Hunter. Did we play? Mo- no, we played Monster Hunter on Wednesday. We played DBFZ on Monday with Colder and them. And, oh man, yeah. I totally forgot about Monster, Monster Hunter on Wednesday. Yeah, Monster Hunter was fun. Was I mean, it? I didn't play any of it. I was just here for it, but it was fun. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it was Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. I was playing Slate the Spire. Yeah, yeah, we had that mm-hmm. whole group stream thing where everyone's oh, playing Oh yeah, different. that's right. But yeah, I think Monster Hunter is super fun. It's so daunting because they it's, it's just like there's so much shit you have to do you have to eat and then you have to like there's all these sub menus about like oh you can go on investigations which are not the same as bounties which are not the same as just going out and killing a motherfucker like mm-hmm. it's like shit. layers upon layers and they all do different shit and it's just like here's the here here it is just go and you're like uh well i don't know what any of this does no one explains anything. Just, just oh. try it and see yeah. what you like. It's trial and error. It just mm. it seems a little grindy still for it me, is but very grindy. Um, but it definitely does look cool. Yeah, I think when it comes out on PC, I think if we all grab it, I think four people uh, co-op will be a lot of fun. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, is it gonna be about Palico? the same price, like fifty yeah. bucks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. probably. I would assume okay. that it might be a little bit cheaper since it's coming out like almost a year later. Yeah, you would eight hope, months, but probably yeah. not. The, yeah. The cynical portion is like, nah, they'll probably just release it full price. Yeah, they they most definitely will. Probably. Especially if they come out with DLC in, in between now and then, or like other other stuff in between now and then, mm-hmm. they'll they'll package that in there and be like, yeah, it's full price, but you get all the stuff, for, you know, all the extra stuff too, mm-hmm. and you're right. like, mm, that was it'll, all free. It'll probably be uh <laughs> probably be full price and you'll have to still buy the dlc oh that'd be fucking feel shit. really bad 
Yeah. I don't know. And then they'll release the Ultimate Edition a week later, and you're like, ah, oh, damn it. Fuck. <laughs> you got me. For $10 for, less for the, with all the DLC. Yeah, for the yeah. same price or less. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Classic. Always get you. Always mm. get you. Fucking rock star. Ah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty. We played Slate Aspire. We played Smash yesterday. Yeah. Uh, we didn't play anything today because. The podcast is early. Early podcast. All right. First story of the day. We got yeah, we got we're just Project going right into it. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Project <laughs> X, which is uh, the the literal uh, title of this article is Project X wants to fix what's wrong with battle royale. <laughs> so uh, a thousand players track each other across a reactive map. One hundred player beta this later this year. So they are going to have a one hundred player beta, but they want to have a map that's larger than Skyrim. With a thousand players, and you track each other on this map. So this is what I didn't tell you before the stream. But the whole this game, is... it's not going to be just a battle royale game. You're going to be like looking at where people have stepped before. You're going to see footprints. Apparently, is what they say. You're going to see uh, wildlife is going to react. Oh, wildlife! To you. And so you'll mm-hmm. like see like stuff flying away. And, like there's a guy over there in the trees, and you're like tracking him down and shit. And he's tracking you down too. So you're tracking each other, but it's like a thousand people on the map at the same yeah. time. And then you're just going around in circles. And this just, like, this sounds very <laughs> ambitious. Oh yeah, yeah. super ambitious. I can't wait say. for the whole No Man's Sky effect to happen yeah. here. Yeah. Um, um, but and it's that, being done by a, a, a ton of time. What's up? Um, and that author was saying that uh, the game is going to look a lot like what remains of Edith Finch. Yeah. It's going to oh. have the same visuals of, of, mm-hmm. of, of yeah. what we're See, I would have believed this game could exist if it was in 2D. Yeah. <laughs> like little sprites <laughs> right? yeah. walking around. I would be like, yeah, that's possible. No, now, it's now they're telling you now. it's going to have the tech engine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's going to have the Crytek engine, and the entire uh, world is going to be built and hosted on the cloud. So your computer doesn't actually load the world. You view it through your monitor. Like, your connection to it is just you're viewing your character. Basically, it's a, it's an MMO. It's just an MMO, but that's limited really, to 1,000 players at once. I don't, I don't think once. it's an MMO. I'm saying the, the idea of it, right? Because you're going in on the server. You have a client-side stuff, and you have server-side stuff. Hmm. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... That's that's what they're trying to do here. They say uh, games like uh, Battlegrounds, Fortnite, and Escape from Tarkov, they say, are prone to be buggy and destined to be sterile because of the limitations baked into their infrastructure. Their upcoming game, whose working title is Project X, aims to rebuild the modern survival shooter from the ground up by putting the game world itself into the cloud. I just, uh, dun, dun, dun. I just don't, don't ever see this coming to fruition. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, they it's 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 so it's so fucking ambitious. Honestly, it would it's be very great. ambitious. It would be cool if it just worked. And they're like, "Yeah, dude, we fucking killed it." And we're like, "Yeah, sick, you killed it." And we're playing it. But more <laughs> more likely, what's going to happen is they're going to come out the beta, and they'll be like, "This was a lot." <laughs> well, yeah. that's that's gonna, what I foresee. I, I we're going to pare down some like, features. This game is H one Z one. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're going to be like, here's part of the game that we could actually manage we promise to do the rest and never do the rest mm-hmm. yeah that's we that's how the they're on going. the roadmap but we're gonna start with like nothing and mm-hmm. then we're just gonna add like a feature it's just months. it's just 2d sprites like matt said mm-hmm. <laughs> but but you can track people and we'll, we'll get to the graphics we'll get yeah. to them and it's then fun. a year later they'll be like oh one of the most difficult things is i know you guys are waiting for the 3d update but it's just that the infrastructure has been built around this 2d now so we just yeah. gotta stick with the 2d otherwise it's just too much to put it at 3d guys we're sorry yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. thanks for the money <laughs> thanks yep. for the cheese yeah i just like it doesn't make i, I just don't see i i don't know yeah. i'm very cynical I, I have a hard time trusting battle royale games anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, pretty much any survival. If you got a survival aspect in your game, uh, I'm looking at it, you with fucking like I don't know, I don't know if you're even gonna exist. Yeah. What's, what's interesting is that this game's not going to early access. They specifically say it's going to beta. So like they're not going the early access route, which is interesting. Which I, I feel like is so a they're good going sign. beta and then full release. Yeah, it's a good sign in a way, or mm-hmm. maybe they're trying to make that into a good sign. But be like, hey, we're not going to be one of those games that goes to early access, like and just stays there for eternity. Here. So I mean, yeah. that's kind of you know oh, that's a different way of doing it compared to their competitors. Uh, and then this last thing here, it says when they say that Project X will be higher fidelity than its competitors. They don't mean simply in terms of graphical enhancements. They mean in the depth of the immersion, reactive wildlife, player footprints, dynamic fire, persistent destruction, foliage displacement, the kinds of things that a smart hunter can use to stalk their prey. So like Hunter Call of the Wild, but Battle Royale version. With a thousand players on a Skyrim-sized map. Yeah. (laughs) 
Mm-hmm. Totally legit. It's like it's like something where you and your friends are like you know it'd be cool. <laughs> just push it and they're like, Let's yeah, make just that. keep pitching ideas until yeah. it becomes ridiculous. We'll mm-hmm. just put the game yeah. world on the cloud. It'll be great. And they're like, how do we do that? I don't know. We have time. Let's just announce it and we'll just figure it out. Yeah, we'll start two D, <laughs> then we'll go three D. Yeah, yeah. Also, uh, uh, pledge to our Kickstarter and like uh, and our Indiegogo. And why, our are Indiegogo? We do, why are we doing both? We'll tell you why. <laughs> This game is going to kill all other games. <laughs> this is a it, Skyrim Slayer. It, it, it'll be cool if it works out. Yeah, it'll be really cool but, if it works yeah. out. But I'm, I'm not holding my breath waiting mm. on them to I hope release it does, this. though, because that would be cool. But... Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. At, at this point, I'm like, fucking just show me. A lot of the... Okay. I'll, I'll wait and see. A lot mm-hmm. of the ways that they talk about it is very No Man's Sky-ish. Like, this guy says one example would be that wildlife would react to the players. It will react dynamically. So, so if you run through a bush, you'll scatter a deer to the right. If there's another player to the right of you, then you've let them. You've yet to have seen that deer runs into that player. It will then turn around and look really rather startled before finding an alternative route. Like he's describing these like very specific mm-hmm. situations yeah. that are just mm-hmm. totally. Well, the world is very big, so you know the chances of two players coming in <laughs> and it. meeting each other are very slim. But it could happen. So, that motherfucker yeah. said that on Conan. Yeah, the the type of <laughs> uh, the way he's describing it just sounds so like like this is what I really want to have happen, but it's not like I don't know. It's it's yeah. it's, it's a bit uh, promisey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotta be cautiously optimistic. I'm not even gonna be optimistic. I'm yeah, gonna forget about gonna this say. until <laughs> then be pleasantly surprised. It pops up until it yeah. pops pleasantly up, surprised. and then I will judge it then. Cause it, like it, it's just like I don't even get super excited about video games that are like these anymore, especially early access ones. Yeah. You're just like, you get burned. Yeah. Like you're like oh, because we bought Rust, we bought H one Z one. Uh, we never bought Daisy because that shit was too expensive, and we we're all poor. <laughs> and uh, true. Uh, every one of those have you know they're dead. They're dead. They promised the world. And then well, you yeah. got PUBG, and you were so just like shot down in the past that you mm-hmm. have I never even played installed it. Zero Why minutes, you? zero zero seconds of we're that. We're playing game. Siege, girl. That's true. Well, girl. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Big time. That's still pretty <laughs> crazy, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. crazy. All right, man. Why don't you tell us about Assassin's Creed Origins being cracked? Yo, Assassin's Creed Origin. I almost said SS. Uh, Assassin's Creed organ or organ. Wow. Just type it out first. <laughs> I know. Just type it out first. I'm just trying to fucking Assassin's They all died up just in Creed. Organ trail. <laughs> Origin cracked. Let's go. Yeah, so Assassin's Creed Origin got cracked. Uh, the people who crack all the other Denovo games, CP, uh, which is short for conspiracy, I think. Um, cracked it conspiracy within crops. three months. And that was with them taking a Christmas holiday. They're just like, you know, they we've just all had some tea together. Yeah, they... we've had so much uh, cracking going on. We're just going to take a holiday. And then they came back and they cracked Sonic Mania, which had Denovu, and Assassin's Creed. Yeah, so Origins. a lot of people were really talking about how, man, this new Denovu seems to be pretty hard to crack. Yeah, because, everybody because it was like... just silent. There, mm-hmm. there were no cracks coming out because mm-hmm. beforehand they were cracking shit in like a day. Like, mm-hmm. within the day that the game was released, they were cracking it. And people were like, oh, shit, this new Denovo must be really doing its job. Mm-hmm. No. No, they, they were just took a, yeah. They just took a They're break and came back and break. did it, like, almost immediately. Mm-hmm. We don't know how long they took to actually, like, once they started to try to crack it. Yeah. We don't know how long it took them to do it, but it still happened. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it just further uh, confirms the uh, the idea that Denovo is a waste of time. Yeah. Especially with it having more of an impact on performance than people usually let on. That oh it has zero, it doesn't hurt your performance at all. But then like games like Rhyme, uh, it was called into the server like three thousand times or three hundred thousand times a second or some crazy Damn. amount of time, and it just slowed the fucking game to a crawl. I mean, just DRM is just bad usually in general, and yeah. if you have a good game, usually people will buy it. A la a, The Witcher Three. Which yeah. sold huge amounts. Like, mm-hmm. it, like, just make a good game. You don't really have to do all this other crazy shit to hurt performance. I don't understand. Yeah. That. Yeah. But it's out there now. So if you wanted to. Uh, well, also, if they, they took extra time and put that into their game rather mm-hmm. than. 
beating or building this unbeatable mm. cheat engine that's or a fucking hack engine that's just gonna get hacked anyway you might yeah. sell more copies mm. yeah so i mean luckily i mean the fact that the game gets cracked and we say this every time is good for everybody because they it, it just incentivizes the developer to just remove it anyway you know anyways mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so um now, and this has two layers of uh, DRM. DRM. It has VM protection, which is, the, I think they try to use that to protect Denovu, while Denovu also protected the game. It was like, and then it has Uplay on top of it. Yeah. So it's just like, <laughs> it has three layers of DRM. Shit that you have right. to go through. Yeah. Yeah. So, hmm. It's ridiculous. I don't know. That but it's crazy. got cracked, so that's good. Yeah. If you know, It's a good game. Like, we bought it. It was yeah. a lot of yep. fun. Yeah. It looks like a lot of fun. I still probably the... am just a little bit held back from it because... Assassin's uh, Creed is not very... Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Assassin's yep. Creed has stabbed me in the back a couple mm. of times. But, oh. You know. Assassin's Creed I'm... has Assassin Creed you. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> but even Matt said it was good. Just fucking wrist knife right in the, the buttocks a mm. couple of times. <laughs> what? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh... But yeah, might have to Look give it, it a it. try. Give it the old college try. Yeah, Alrighty. like pleasantly surprised with how good it is. All right, man. Uh, so, so Coulter, you want to tell us about uh, Sea of Thieves, the beta? Oh I, yeah, I've been watching so, some stuff on this. Yeah, I, I haven't uh, researched a whole lot, but this is uh, you know simplistic things that kind of popped up from what I did search. Is they were taking feedback and they they are changing some stuff so they are coming out with i think it was five maps total which is good news but i also am not ambitious for the lifespan of the game because as of now they haven't uh, announced any customization as far as your boats go so you can't upgrade your cannons to do more damage or grape shot or remove cannons to be faster or you have different upgrade. types of cannonballs no no what? and what? you can't like upgrade your sails to be faster or anything as far as customization okay. goes as of right now all that's announced is character customization so you can upgrade your weapons um but the weapon system's kind of dumb already because you can just load all three so you get a shotgun pistol sniper you can mm-hmm. load all three and then just shoot, scroll, shoot, scroll, shoot, scroll, three or three weapons, and mm-hmm. it pretty much insta kills anyone. So oh my god. Oh. If you if you get fast at that combo, like you literally never have to reload your weapons. Um but Jeez. you know, it, it might do okay if if they do some changes. It just doesn't have any progression. Does that make yeah. sense? There's there's no reason to grind because there's no progression in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, so they didn't say that they're planning on doing the customization. No, there was nothing besides the uh, the character customization. Oh, so um, far. Like it's like fifty, like not even fifty percent, like eighty percent of a pirate game is the ship. Exactly, <laughs> like, right? Like you're on the ship. Yeah. A lot, is that your thing? <laughs> and like, uh, I get that. that I want to have a cool pirate, but like I want to have a cool pirate ship. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, it, I don't it's know. It's so weird. Is it PVP or is it PVE mostly? PVP. Yeah, the only PVE is there's skeletons on the islands that you go to Ooh, for treasure, mm-hmm. and there's sharks in the water. So like, oh. if you kill sink somebody's boat, mm-hmm. the sharks will be attracted to it. Mm-hmm. So like, you have to like try and grab their chest out of the water and whatnot. And, but yeah, that's that's as far as the PVE goes. And Everything they don't else have is different PvP. types of cannonballs. I cannot no. believe this. Like no. the baseline fucking every ship in any other game <laughs> that has ships in it that you can choose the fucking cannonballs. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, yeah. like they have this yeah. game on Steam called Hold Fast, and they have mm-hmm. like two maps where you can be on ships. Uh, and it's like the revolutionary, not the revolutionary, but it's like that time period. And it's you like get to pick the, the cannonballs. You're like, you want it's chain like shot? British versus America, isn't it? No, it's British versus the French. The French, that's right. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. And you can pick the cannonballs in that. Like, mm-hmm. You don't have two masks for it. Yeah. yeah. But 
It was I, an I've afterthought. Seen, They're like, oh, I've we should like add this. I've seen like five minutes of that, and all they do is the British guys were sitting there, oh, ho, ho, want some tea? Oh, yeah, yeah. oh is that's that what That's like you the watched? entire game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, it's hilarious. But, that's crazy. And you were saying that like the icing on the cake on top of all of that is that you don't even get to choose the size of your ship. It's based solely on how many players you have in your party. That is so stupid. Yeah, yeah and, that's, and, that's and right. And it's the size too. of your ship to uh, determine how many cannons you have on your ship too. Yeah. I think so, yeah. So the, the bigger ships would have – You would assume, but now, I feel right. like i got to ask now because none the of, the, of my other sections – Also, <laughs> none of them have the um, lower deck cannons. They're all just top cannons. I don't, that's, that's not just a historically huge deal accurate. to me. Yeah, <laughs> that's not a huge deal to me, but Does it is kind sense? of weird. How do you shoot the cannons? Um, do players have to go up to the cannon and shoot it themselves? Yeah, you have and to load exactly it, aim why. it, and shoot it. Yeah. 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 They're like, we can't. There's no way that we can make a second story to this ship. So everything yeah. is going to be on the top. That's so weird because mm -hmm. every other pirate, pirate game, game, you like the person who's who's manning the ship, who's who's like who's like actually moving the ship has the capability of just shooting the cannons like it's just automatic, like your crew's doing it, you know? Yeah. Um and then I guess in this they wanted to have it where all the players have a job on the ship or like yeah. right. Well, you so, can also like, uh, load yourself into a cannon and then shoot yourself. Oh, okay. So yeah. that's that's kind of part of the reason, I assume, as well. They gave it more kind yeah, of like cartoony. You can you can do stuff with mm -hmm. the cannons more yeah. so. But yeah. so you don't get grape shot, but you get friend shot instead. Yeah, exactly. yeah. You can load your friends into cannons and shoot what your friends the at the ships. Yeah. 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 Can you damage? Uh, like like is every part of the ship damageable? Can you like damage their sails and like? Um, I don't know about the sails. I know you can damage the different levels of the ship. So if you just light up the second level, mm -hmm. it'll fill the bottom one really, really slowly. And then when it hits the second level, it's just like almost instantaneous that they'll sink. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of cool. Um, mm -hmm. Or you can hit the bottom and then obviously it'll fill really fast. And then when it gets to the second, it's kind of a little bit slower, stuff like that. But I don't think you can hit the sails or anything like that, no. Mm -hmm. Not from what I saw. Yeah, I gotcha. And what about attacking like the mast? Oh, it wouldn't matter because you don't have chain shots. So. Yeah. 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 At this point, Nothing why like would that. you why why would you play a game like this that seems half baked when you could play like all the other Sons of Icarus or yeah, oh, Guns, yeah, of Icarus. Exactly. Guns of Icarus. Guns, Guns of Icarus. Guns of Icarus. Yeah. Sons of it's like Sons of Sons of Icarus. Yeah. What, do you play, like, a biker gang? Yeah, you play in a biker <laughs> oh, gang. Flying, flying uh, mm. biker gang. Yeah, and then use the airships on that, because that seems better. That, it seems you, like that shoot, actually has good their, ideas. shoot their ships uh -huh. as, as planes, Matt? Uh -huh. shoot, shoot the ships? You shoot the ships yeah. as planes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but, man. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't we'll see. Seem, yeah. We'll see. Full releases in March, so we'll see what they do. Is um, March sixth? Was it? What no, was that one March twentieth. Twentieth. Oh, March twentieth. Yeah. Okay, March twentieth. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. No, no, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, too. You know. Well. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, so we can move on to uh, Rainbow Six Siege Outbreak release. Which is the March 6th one that we were talking about, I think, right? Or March 8th? That's right. March 6th. March 6th, yeah. 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 So, so I'm, and I'm pretty going excited for four about weeks. That. I haven't, for four I haven't weeks. seen a whole lot about it, but, you know, a couple of new operator, or operators coming out and some kind of zombie mode that's going to be free. Yeah. Which, I mean, you know mm -hmm. me, zombies, fucking yeah. almost an instant win. Mm. Um, really, it's zombie modes in games, I've noticed. Yeah. Like, you have the existing yeah, yeah. game and you have the zombie mode. And it's like, okay, this is cool. But um, the thing is, like, Call of Duty Zombies, I would have bought that as a standalone game. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's true. That, that was, was just, all you played like, for yeah, Call that, of Duty. That was a really good yeah. game mode. Um, so we'll see. I, I haven't actually read a whole lot on it. I don't know yeah. what it is, but it's supposed to be really cool. D didn't you have, like, an article pulled up about that, Matt? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, Did they have yeah. any videos? Like trailers or anything? I don't think they don't so. really have no. anything showing the zombies. They no, have like, like a weird teaser. like oh. space. It shows capsule. like this pod, yeah. Yeah. Right. That is supposed to be cool. Yeah, so they have two new operators that are being introduced in Operation Camara, which I think is releasing around the same time. And then so those two players, um, 
along with Smoke, Ying, Buck, Capkin, Ash, Doc, Tachanka, and Glaz, uh, will be playable in this in this outbreak event. And what's interesting is I think literally it says players will be able to fo- uh, to, to play as the following. So I don't know if, if you're going to be doing the event and these players will just be unlocked for you just for this particular event, or if they're just saying these are the players that you're allowed to play. I would assume yeah, that they don't... would be unlocked. Probably, Which yeah. means this is the only mode where Tachanka is going to be fucking super useful. <laughs> Do everyone just go yeah. Tachanka, which sucks because only one person go, you know, Tachanka. But um, a, I, a, I... A, great, a great team I can see is Tachanka, Doc, um, Capkin, and, like, Smoke. I also assume it's going to be uh, PvE completely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would assume so. Yeah. But, but yeah, that should be cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't wait to do that. I wonder if they're dipping their toes into this like outbreak thing, and then maybe they'll add like a full fuck you DLC or blame. something for it. Yeah, make it like a yeah. permanent stay. Yeah, because I mean, I, if it's done in the way that I hope it's done, it feels like it would be. It really, could be really done idea. so well yeah, with their with game Siege. engine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh because my God. Because you have the windows that are already breakable, you have walls that are already breakable, you have the reinforcements, you have all of that, you have all these different traps you can set up with all these different characters, so... Yeah, like, what's, what's crazy is, like, oh man, like, we don't even know if it's just if it's just going to be zombies or if they're going to have special zombies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We have no idea. Scroll up real quick, man. They, it's saying Outbreak, uh, or is it, um, it's a free event, it, oh, it's, it says here, players will be able to team up with two friends in the event. Which features three exclusive co-op oriented maps that are larger and more open than a game's typical PvP maps. Being designed for co-op, they are also more linear and feature a clear sense of progression. You have said that in an update on the game's official website, nevertheless, the destruction and multi-path approach that are iconic to Rainbow Six Siege are still very much present. Cool. So making special maps for it, but you only have three players? It's a little weird. It is a little strange. Yeah. Yeah, that, but that slightly dampens my enjoyment of the, the idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a, little, a little bit. But like, I mean, why, why take away the five player? Right? Why not give I us guess. 18 players? Fuck it, right? Yeah. Just get more zombies. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have that many people. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> they have a lot of operators. They're like 50. No, but not in the. Oh, yeah. Well, they've limited themselves. <laughs> that is their fault. <laughs> <laughs> that is their own fault. Yeah, it's weird that they're not going to let you to have the five, though. Yeah, hmm. and it, I didn't yeah. also realize it was like a, a linear path, so you're like going through something. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, so it's not going to well, be. It's like, weird because it says colored. that it says that it's uh, more open and larger, and, but then they also said it's, it's being also designed more lin- to be linear more linear and, and feature a clear sense of progression. Now, do they mean clear sense of progression like you're moving through it like Left 4 Dead? Or are they saying clear sense of progression? That's like, what I was like, like the the way that the zombies come at you in waves is very specifically designed. You know, like is that what they're talking about progression wise? Or are they talking maybe about you like moving they attack certain areas at certain points? Yeah, maybe that, that could be. Yeah, I don't know. I I assume it will probably be more left for deady. Everything will be spawned in. Mm-hmm. You'll you'll Maybe progress through. through it. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I pictured it. Yeah, which is really interesting because then you're doing all this defensive stuff that you're used to doing in Siege, but then moving and then redoing it in time for like like uh, waves or something like that. You know, yeah. it'll be interesting. Right. Yeah, but that's exciting. I'll yeah, be happy so, when that drops. Yeah, so that drops mm-hmm. uh, March sixth and it runs for four weeks. It is a free event in Siege. Um, I know, hope the new operators are good. Yeah, I also or at least know. cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, and, and the other thing to think about is that they just recently upped the price. Of all the other um, available versions of Siege, except for the starter edition and then the first, like the one just the standard above edition, that, the standard edition. So, um, I feel like that they were doing that so when they came out with this outbreak thing, they could try to capitalize on. It. But yeah, capitalize on more people buying. Oh, zombies are fucking cod. Yeah. Oh, I like the zombies in cod. <laughs> right, yeah. I need to get this. Oh, okay, sixty. I don't give a fuck. Well, it's only yeah, for four weeks. Uh, well, okay. Right. <laughs> Mistakes. All right. So, uh, let's, uh, <laughs> hey, Dee, do you want to you, you want to start us off with the Slay the Spire updates? Oh, sure. Well, I didn't read the full list, um, but wow. just from playing. Wow, he has what one job. That? Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Don't I'm worry, sorry. I had the list pulled up. Um, but just from playing, I know that the Awakened One is 
uh, got buffed. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, when I played Heat, like started out hitting for like 25 mm-hmm. rather than I believe 10 yeah. or so. Um, what are the elites? What are those called? The ones... The, the diamond. The oh, yeah. Those motherfuckers. Those got, yeah, those got nerfed, um, which is freaking amazing. Yeah. Because mm, they so can't all three, three attack you at one time now. can attack at once. Yeah. You couldn't hardly escape that fight without like 40 it damage. Mm-hmm. It sucked. Um, so. Sentry uh, so nice elite now. combat. Yeah. Yeah. Sentry. Yeah. Yeah. The sentry elites. Yeah. Mm. That's right. Um,. The molten egg, that's the uh, attack. The attack one, yeah. So when you get an attack card, the attack will be um, upgraded. upgraded. Yeah. 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 Every, yeah, every attack card. So instead of actually picking just one, when you pick up molten egg, all your new attacks will be upgraded. So that's mm-hmm. nice. And then toxic was- egg is the same thing, but yeah. for skills. Yeah, and frozen egg for uh, powers, so they have yeah. an egg for yes. everything, mm-hmm. which is yes. like super cool, actually. I'm, I'm, like, uh, do you think it'd be better to to, to uh, imagine getting all three of those, or do you think that Probably. that's like almost an impossibility? I got two before, not all three. Yeah, I don't know. You should have and like it... a special relic. <laughs> fist cake coming in here. <laughs> what are you fist doing cake. here, fist cake? Whoa, yeah. this looks like a cool podcast. Thanks, dude. We've been doing it pretty yeah. much ourselves. <laughs> With no help from anybody. <laughs> oh my God. Um, but yeah, they also had a a couple of small things like singing bowl, which gives you mm-hmm. HP 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 when you uh, oh, when you yeah. skip cards, it, it just adds a little button now that says gain two HP. So HP. you know, oh, wow. instead of skip cards, it, it lets so you know crazy that, because that you're like... actually getting it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, 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 What's crazy about that is uh, that's one of the only things where you're gaining health on like kind of a weird basis without being in combat. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so that's kind of cool. A couple of little things like that. The that elixir potion. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, gone. That's gone. That was a worthless potion. <laughs> yeah. It really they replaced was. it with Artifact, which actually has a lot of cool combos now. It's the same as Panacea. Mm-hmm. Um, but Artifact... I don't know if you guys realize, but ancient like, potion? Oh, it's an ancient potion. And they, they give yeah. you an artifact? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And, one and so it um, it actually works with certain cards like flex. Mm-hmm. The gain two strength, lose two strength. The mm-hmm. lose two strength is actually considered a debuff. So you can artifact potion. Right. And right. then gain two strength. That and then seems not, like a little bit like an oversight. Like... Um, <laughs> But, and then also but, like okay. battle okay. trance, mm-hmm. which is draw four cards but don't draw anymore. Mm-hmm. You yeah. can still draw uh, cards. You can do that. Or bullet oh, time shit. with uh with the silent yeah. is makes everything free this hand, but no more draw. You can cancel that draw as well. Oh what shit! The fuck? So it, it yeah. actually has a lot of cool combos now. Mm-hmm. It's um it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, I mean, that's such a better upgrade, and I like how it, they added it, and there's, like, all these, like, cool little neat things you can do with it to kind of cheese yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, Rather than just using it for, mm-hmm. like, a boss fight where they debuff you, yeah. you can use it to your own advantage to kind of... Okay, so, wait a second. ...on the offensive. What does this mean? They say Bite is now a colorless card. Yeah, Bite's a colorless it card. It has been colorless. Um, I thought... I don't know. Uh, it what was the update says. It, it, it was a strike before. It was like it had like a. It was like the color of whatever your yeah. your character. Yeah, was. It, it was like green oh, if was. you were silent, yeah, red okay. if you're ironclad. Yeah, so I what does that mean? Like, yeah. like, how does that change? How Wait, it's used? so hmm. if you oh, had oh, so you <laughs> if you had jack of all trades or something, yeah, which that's what which saying. adds a random colorless card to your hand, you yeah. could get a bite. You could get a bite. You can no longer get shivs. I think with that though. Chicken or jacks can no longer spawn from the effects like jack of all okay. trades and transmutation. Oh, so they're switching it out. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, which is honestly, which is that's, fine. That's preferred because, because you're like, yeah. like, yeah, jack of all trades. Here's your shiv. Right. Shiv. <laughs> Fuck. 
<laughs> right? right? Not really what well, I was hoping for. Yeah. A whole four damage. There's like five other colorless cards that do more than that. Yeah. Oh my god, so it's, many other better cards. Yeah. It's so much better if you're like you get a jack of all trades and you jack of all trades into a jack of all trades and then you get a shit. Yeah. You're like, all right, I went three levels deep and got uh. nothing. <laughs> I just spent fucking nine mana for for a shiv. Feels mm-hmm. good. Actually, Jack of all trades is free. But yeah. 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 Also, Warcry was tweaked, so the um, uh, the unupgraded form uh, is buffed. It costs zero and has draw one, place one. They don't have very many cards where you place them oh. immediately, which is cool. Like Havoc does that, where you can just like you draw a card and you play it immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. But then it gets exhausted. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the draw one, place one is. It's, it's a really cool feature because it's, it's it, because it's so rare. It's like oh ooh, ooh I get to play it Wait, right away. Wait, draw one, place, place one, play, yeah. place one, place one. It says place, place. I think that means back in the top of your on deck. the top of your deck. Oh yeah. okay, never mind. Yeah. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that's like, what... like a, like a regular card game. Because like, usually uh, when you uh, place, oh, you place yeah. it on the board. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Rather, oh, okay. I see. I'm, I'm pretty sure Warcry puts it back on the top. If I'm not that's still cool. Do you get to pick? I yeah, wonder, you choose. Yeah. So, you like, choose. you could be like, I don't need this defend this turn. I need an attack. Try and draw one and then put your good defend back or something right. like that. Oh, Bouncing Flask no longer loses bounces to dead enemies. Let's go. What do you mean? It's a bug fix, apparently. Um, uh, bouncing Flask y- y- used to um, bounce oh, on, like, already people. dead enemies. Yeah. Oh. So like I I, I wonder I if, if, if 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 that uh, means maybe. if that means uh when you have the three blobs if bouncing flask would sometimes accidentally go to one of the ones that was already dead. Yeah, or, one or, that was reviving. Or oh, if that maybe. means or if that means uh it's no longer going to over poison somebody and go to somebody I don't else. Think so. I don't yeah, I don't think it'll yeah. That's what I was excited about when I read that out loud. Too and then I read it out loud and I was like, that's yeah. not what that means. Right. Yeah, yeah, I was re- I was really surprised when you're like, I'm so excited for this. I'm like, we never even encountered that bug. What are you yeah, happy for? That's what I was wondering too. But... <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um all three dark darklings can ever do eight times two damage at once now. Those are those three Thank God. Yeah, those, those slimes. slimes. Those yeah. slimes that have lifelink. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fuck those guys, that's what I say. Uh, Backstab I've... was buffed. Cost lower to zero damage decreased to eleven. For what? Backstab. Backstab. Oh. So now it's a zero cost. I'm putting sorry. more zero cost in here, it seems. Yeah. Yeah, more cool. synergy, probably. Combo decks. Oh, guys, Turkish is now available. Let's go. Again. Turkish? Turkish. Yeah, like like just localization. Like just, you know, like the language. Turkish, Turkish coffee? Turkish. I don't well, know, love Turkish like coffee. Turkish, the language. Oh. Cool. But yeah, they they added uh, some more graphical effects and stuff like that, oh, which is cool. Good. Yeah, they, they definitely need that. I've got yeah. some more particles in there. Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, like the bonfires Damn. look sick. Yeah. Just killing it. <laughs> the, okay, Ooh. if you look at the backgrounds, though, I think they're pretty cool. Like, yeah. not the fight itself, yeah. but like the stuff in the background. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's not the like, oh my there. god, that's amazing. Still, one of my biggest complaints about the game, only complaint actually so far, is is the. Well, no, the that's not style. true. I I wish that they would uh they would have more synergy between the two decks. I think that would be cool, but more obviously I can't, branching I can't. paths for the yeah. the decks to be built into. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Especially I do with have... silent because with silent, it, it it seems like you just end up going one of two ways: shiv or poison. Well, that's not necessarily true. No, I mean, there's all these other uh, other ones where it's like, you well, have, like specifically silent ones where it's shiv or poison, and then you have like you know discard. I mean, I don't want to and... correct the savant. I am the savant. Oh my. <laughs> um, but, but there's no, a lot. That, that is that is semi accurate because I mean you can't do a solid block deck with um without uh, silent. silent because like you just have to pretty much spam blurs because he doesn't get barricade right mm. or you have to rely on calipers so like mm-hmm. it's pretty much shiv poison is is about the way to go but a poison block deck is like fucking amazing it yeah. is um but yeah two updates i wish they would do one uh i wish they would uh allow you to sell potions that i agree and then also the one thing that kind of bothers me is um 
if I feel like if you block an attack, you shouldn't get burned. You shouldn't get a burn card. Yeah, yeah that makes that nemesis fight literally or a fucking dumb. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, if yeah. you full yeah. block, yeah. you shouldn't get if the you status. Full block because you don't yeah. get your stuff if you block stuff. Sometimes, like like there's certain cards where you get um like you draw a card. There's there's a relic where you draw a card every time you get hit, but it only works if you have to take full dam. Uh, you take damage on your actual health. It doesn't work when you block stuff. Like why yeah. does it do that for that? But it doesn't do it for the butt burn cards. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I I really feel like the debuffs and stuff like that. If they get through your block, then. That's where right. you should then get the debuff. They apply. Yeah, but well, until unless then... it's like an actual debuff specific thing, that makes right. sense. Right, but like a status card. Mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I know. I know exactly what you're I talking about. I think it would. I feel like it would make a lot more people go yeah. block, actually block the damage because you're sitting there and you're like, well, what's the point? I'm just gonna rush him down because he's gonna feed my deck with these stupid status cards anyway. So I'm just yeah, gonna but... take face damage and fucking rush him instead of. Yeah. concentrating on blocking yeah so i think that... it would change that to mm -hmm. where you'd want to not Maybe. take bad hp damage right mm -hmm. yeah i can see that yeah then you everybody would be like i'm gonna slow play now yeah instead of yeah okay yeah okay that's the best probably the same conversation they've had <laughs> they're working on slay the spire and they're like yeah we should do that and they're like but then everybody's just gonna turtle and then that's no fun. And they're like, oh, fuck. You're but right. then it's not But very fun. then you could just, like, make them do more damage or buff themselves. Because, like, the big ones that do right. it are, what, Nemesis, who doesn't buff himself, but he is invincible. So you kind of want to turtle that fight anyway. And then yeah. there's the Hexaghost, who also doesn't buff. But um, Dude, if Nemesis buffed himself and he still has the invincible... yeah. That yeah. would be so, so fucking yeah. difficult. So there's like those two fights where you kind of want to turtle anyway. So they went that direction, but then they like still made it to where you you take bad damage. Mm. It's just like it's kind of be... shitty. Yeah, I feel and like then there, there's also there should be a three cost card that allows you to remove buffs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can just get the the relic, the medical aid box thing. Mm -hmm. You oh, can play status, status cards, and, but mm -hmm. and curse, right? Uh, no, it's just and that's status. just status. I mean, even but if then, you make the card where it's like three cost or even zero cost, but like like it removes all your attack cards or some weird shit, where like it's it's like an insane cost, but it removes like the entirety of the buffs on on an enemy character. That would be super cool. You'd be t taking your whole yeah. turn to do it, so there's like a risk. But if if you're fighting as somebody who's buffing himself every turn has like twelve st strength, you have a chance. Right. Yeah, that's true. I feel like that'd be but cool. that card would know. have to be like they, exhausted they could do a as couple well. of things, but yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm still yeah. Not exhausted. With it. Yeah, it removes all your attack cards, three cost. <laughs> <laughs> but then then it's like, okay, when do you play that? You play it's it when you're about to get too fucked. Good to use. <laughs> I suppose yeah. That makes yeah. sense. They need but to then... add some type of ethereal weapon power or something like that where it ethereal hurts ethereal for real damage. So like the Nemesis fight isn't actually god awful. Mm. So you can saying. just be like, oh yeah, well you're you fucking translucent. I'm gonna hit you with my translucent sword. Yeah, <laughs> that oh, does real cool. damage. Yeah. That'd be cool. That, yeah. that would True be cool. Damage, yeah. True damage. Yeah, but that's like for that one guy. Like how many people do well, that? I, I don't. You know, effect? add other. You know, Maybe it can yeah. go through like block too. Yeah, like block, like, like piercing or something. Oh, yeah. Piercing, yeah. And then just make it. Like exhaust mm, or something. Right. That's yeah. how you balance it. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, that sounds like the a first cool time card. you roll upon Nemesis, It'd be like a shiv, but with yeah, with uh, with poison. You're like, oh, I got this motherfucker. Yeah, poison. No, nope. <laughs> no, <Nope. laughs> one one damage. damage. <laughs> yeah, so stupid. Yeah, you're like, oh, okay. This and then fucking <laughs> sucks. But but you, what you do is you stack a bunch of poison, and then when when he's no longer when he's out of the yeah, thing, but then... you still have to survive like five yeah. to poison six block fucking. Death rotations of his attacks mm -hmm. yeah. I, I love the the rotation of that fight because the first one he's like I'm going to hit you three times for four damage and then like his next attack is like I'm going to hit you for 55 50. damage <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> alright I guess I'll just no. die yep. <laughs> pretty much well, yeah. Slay Spire updates I mean is sick I think pretty much 
Like this is probably the best early access game I've ever played. Ever played? Yeah. And the way that they're probably. doing the updates and stuff yeah. like that, and they they have clear patch up with notes. Yeah. They right. tell you exactly what's going on. They you know mm-hmm. all this other stuff. So good. Yeah. Everybody should do their early access like these people. Exactly. It's yeah. like it's clear, concise, so good. Yeah, it's awesome. And weren't it. they Slate's saying fire, it's fire. what every they're trying to do every two weeks? I think for an update. One week, I think. One week, yeah. Wow, they nice. they set a deadline for themselves, and they're like trying to stick to it. Like this game is gonna change mm-hmm. pretty much every week. Every two weeks, you're going to get to the the full game, mm-hmm. which is really cool. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. But yeah. It's really cool how they do that. Oh yeah, Slay the Spire, a re- yeah. like like really great game. Art, mm-hmm. not really great. <laughs> not not the best, but some of the cards literally, you're like, you I could have drawn Pokemon something cards better. Where they took in people's yeah. like actual art, like kids who like sent in their art for a Pokemon, and they put that shit on a card. That's what this looks like. Sometimes it's sometimes. like it's kind of consistent. sometimes art it's looks really good, and then other times you're like, what what is what's actually happening here? What yeah. is, like this like bite looks god awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's out true. maneuver. Yeah. Spencer thought it was just some dude going like this. <laughs> no, you actually see the silent you, line. Yeah, I, the didn't silent know that. line. <laughs> I had no idea the silent was there holding the net. So I thought he was just like, I'm out maneuvering you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I believe he's, he's just like, haha, done. Yeah, done. that's what I thought was happening. Done. No, apparently it's the silent behind him with a fucking knife. I had no idea. All right. So we had a couple quick ones here. Uh, so Forrest is leaving early access at the end of April. For those of you who have never played The Forest, it's basically a four-player survival It's kind of like game. the Descent the game, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. So for some reason, yeah. I, I heard I heard Deceit, and I was like, Ugh. It's definitely but, not like Deceit. Yeah. No, definitely not. But no, yeah, yeah. It's it's like you're in the movie The Descent, but you're a plane crash in a fucking crazy forest. It's like that mixed in with that um, that one weird genre of, of, of movies where they're, they're in, like some area where there's native peoples who are cannibals like it's cannibal just, holocaust yeah cannibal holocaust and stuff like that like those weird uh, uh movies that came out in the 70s but yeah. yeah it's 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 kind of a cool game i like it it yeah. was yeah. fun it was we a lot of fun for when a we while. played they, uh, they had some good features too i kind of like all the uh the buildings you can do yeah, yeah. a lot cool. of fucking oh, wood chopping how you Dude, just like so much decimate just, like, a forest so that's yeah. kind of cool yeah, mm-hmm. you're like decimating forest half the time. And, and I like how they told the story ish. Like it wasn't like a like a big story, but you're like, oh, I gotta find people in the plane crash, and then you like right. see mm-hmm. pictures and like you'll yeah. see people's suitcases and and stuff and like your, that. Your kids drawing and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. like a lot yeah. of really cool uh, abstract storytelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. I, f- I feel like they did that really well. The only issue with that was when sometimes if you died or something weird happened with your connection to the game, you came back and all of your progression for that was gone. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. like, well, I yeah. guess I'm just not going to collect this stuff. I'm just going to go to you guys. I don't you guys know anyone it. anymore. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Which is crazy because some of the progression in the game was tied to um, finding more people. Or, f- or finding more information about stuff, if I remember correctly, right? Finding but, more people about the... Or finding out more information about the other people who survived the plane yeah, crash. Yeah, so like... Uh, and they were usually well, dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. A lot. Yeah. Build also, all the stuff balls. you can build with like the 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 cannibals' body parts and shit. <laughs> it's just some weird shit you can right? do in a game. It's mm, kind of fucked up. So but... weird. We're like building like, like little juice. weird TP fucking body part. Oh, uh, uh, the effigies. Yeah, the effigies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then just yeah. cool stuff. Wizards on wizards on drying racks. Mm. Yeah, and then Coulter, uh, yeah. and then Cor- and then Coulter destroys like your uh, your main base area just to fucking troll you at the end of the day, and uh, fucking ruins everything. Wait, when did I? When didn't I you? I don't know. I don't you remember did that, that every time we played. We would play for a while. We build up <laughs> this nice little base, and you do something to fuck it up. You like light everything on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that, that was like the way like you did for all. fun at the no, end of the day. Mm. I would just be like chilling up in the treehouse. Everyone's like, "Oh, we finally got this wall Everyone's built." Saved. And I'm just like, "Grenade Moldov." Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then no, we get fucking overrun by cannibals and shit at the same time because yeah. mm, Colter knew how to pick his moments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking douche. <laughs> I, I actually like that though because I mean, 
it made it more fun in my opinion. It's just like <laughs> and to be like you don't, with you don't have to just worry about the cannibals. You have mm. to worry about your closest friend that you've known for forever that you know is gonna do this, but you, you don't never know, know when it's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a ticking time bomb. Uh, <laughs> uh so uh, Demon Souls is actually going offline at the end of February. So Demon Souls will no longer have the online capabilities that it once had and it will strictly just be a single player game from then on out. Yeah. I'm hoping for because Demon Souls never went to PC version either, did it? No, but it's God, a that PS3 sucks. exclusive. Because if it was a PC version, y- you could guarantee that there would be a server that would be put up by players. So I don't yeah. know what they're going to do with this. Um, it's just going to die, I guess. Well, I mean, it's, I mean, the game is old as hell. It, yeah. it came out in the yeah. in the beginning part of the lifespan of the PS3. Yeah. So for them to have the servers up this long, anyways, yeah. is actually like you're like oh. Thanks a lot. You can't you can't like go back and get on like what Halo three servers can you? Yeah, you can't. I don't, I don't think so. No, mm-hmm. so those are dead. Yeah, although they were brought back yeah. for the Master Chief Collection. That's a totally different game. Yeah, it's a totally different game, basically. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why you even spoke. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's happening. You know, yeah. everyone. You know, rest in peace and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, it lasted <laughs> a long time. Yeah. yeah, it lasted a long time. I hope they make a remake. That would be cool. Make it on PC. Can we great. can we all take a moment to remember Demon Souls and all its glory? Hmm. Dodge, dodge. Oh fuck. All right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure like 90 percent of those fights on my first playthrough is just hide in a corner and arrow them. Yeah, you were talking about that. You choose uh, every single boss in that game. <laughs> you would literally yeah. hide behind a pillar yeah. and just like. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Oh. This was back before I actually yeah, played this is, the Souls yeah. game, and I was scared of shit to, yeah. to like die. This is like anything. before Dark Souls was even that, a yeah. twinkle in the eye of the guy who made the series. Yeah. yeah. No, it was so funny, too, because I remember, uh, what was that molten boss or whatever, where it made the lava around it? Is that in Demon's Souls or is that in Dark Souls? That one? was in Demon's Souls. I think yeah. it was a slime boss. Yeah, it was like this molten yeah. one that, had, that made the stuff, and you just like would sit up on this outcropping behind something, and it would just like mill about in its own little area, and not even realizing what's <laughs> happening. You just fucking kill it. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. That's about right. Um, and then I uh, will probably do one more, and then we can end the end the end the podcast. Uh, Red Dead Redemption is coming out October sixth. Red Dead Two. Yeah. October twenty sixth. I'm excited. October twenty sixth. Twenty sixth. Yeah. yeah. So Super excited about that. Yeah. Yep. I do want to get that. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be I mean, cool. Played mm-hmm. a shit ton of the, uh, the first one. Fucking have to uh, bring out Alter Persona Bear Girls 2.0. Bear Girls. Mm-hmm. Oh, fucking Bear Girls. Uh, I forgot that we did that. <laughs> fucking, fucking Bear Girls. Oh, we still have the Red Dead Redemption that Red Dead 1. Of yep. you uh, j- uh, trying to save somebody in in the burning building, and then messing up, jumping over the fence with the horse, and like hitting somebody, and then fucking up uh, because you hit somebody that was you're not supposed to hurt. They attacked you or something like that. Some weird shit got totally fucked up, and you failed it. Yeah. That's still there. Sounds I can put that together, right. and there's a video and sound and yeah. of us from like yeah. six years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the whole time you're just like, how do you survive, Coulter? I'm Bear Girls. I just drink my own pee. Yeah, yeah just that was it. Go to that this was place. That was, <laughs> that was the playthrough. That, that was, was the, the whole joke. Playthrough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're like, yeah, this is how we're gonna play this game. It'll be fun <laughs> for everybody. It won't get tiring at all. And then two hours later, uh, this was the worst idea. <laughs> <laughs> you, you thought Phil's bad man was a epidemic. Yeah, just listen yeah. to that. Try Bear Girls. Try Bear Girls, and awesome. then that one time that Matt played through, um, was it Metro? And no, we Deanna were, was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was saying yeah. Deanna was there. And we were <laughs> doing Soviet Russia. Russia. Yeah. Russia. So yeah. Russia. Russia. That one was bad, too. Yeah. I was also a little drunk. So yeah. yeah, I was going to say, weren't we drinking there, <laughs> yeah, too? We're yeah, we so. were drinking. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's Soviet Russia. This yeah. vodka make you a little drunk. And we're like, yeah, man. Yeah, it, was, it was a bunch of really the bad Soviet Russian jokes. Night. Yeah. yeah. He just, yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't stop. Yeah. I thought it was hilarious. I actually still think it's a little hilarious. I'll have to go back and see if I can find that too. That one was good. Feels bad, man. Needs to just die. The more you want it to die, the more Kohler's going to do it. So you either join in and make him hate it, or you just ignore it. What was the one that Matt doesn't like? You know how dogs is. (laughs) I created that after Uh, I stole it. (laughs) Uh, I don't know. When worse comes to worse, I don't like that one. Oh yeah, that one, that was just stupid. Cool yeah. beans. Cool beans. I know that one. I still remember that. Matt, Matt I don't, I don't remember, remember this. Yeah. 
That's cool, so cool Beans at one point did not settle well with no, Matt. No, you did yeah. not like beans, it. And you beans let are me not know. cool. Beans yeah. are not cool. When do you have cool beans? Yeah. You have <laughs> hot beans. You only have hot beans. <laughs> Yeah. You can have baked beans. You can have hot beans. You can have pork and beans. You can have brown brown beans. You can't have cool beans. <laughs> no. yeah. I think he like related it to like Cool Ranch Doritos. He's like, what are they? They fucking Cool Ranch beans? Is that it? <laughs> like, no, Sound like an argument Matt would have at all. <laughs> no, I'm totally oh. non-triggerable about yeah. dumb shit. <laughs> I don't know. My my one the other night was super good. I'm sitting there. I'm like, yeah, no, Matt doesn't get triggered easily at all. And Matt's like sitting there thinking, mm. I just left the pause long enough so Matt uh-huh. can, uh, could could kind of contemplate it. And he's like, that doesn't sound like me at all. And then I just dropped the, uh, all right, yeah, you myself. know how dogs is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Fucking Matt. Are they figuring out electric, uh, electric Mastro? Yeah, you fucking just totally Yeah, just I was out. like, oh, uh, I got a fucking flat. Oh, God. <laughs> Just blindsided. That was good. All right. Well, this is the time we come to the end of the podcast where Rogue Ridge Gaming tells us where uh, where people can find their stuff and all that good stuff. It's great because you guys are the last guests, so I don't have to update anything. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we, we just uh, – we still only have the – you or Twitch, no YouTube, no, no Twitter. Not yet. No, none of that. So it's just uh, – Twitch.tv slash Rogue Rage Gaming. So, okay. Twitch.tv come slash check us out over yeah. there. Uh, I'm we'll thinking be... about doing a YouTube channel, but right now we're just kind of chilling and, you know, getting uh, used to, yeah, getting yeah. used to uh, the Twitch scene and Twitch schedule. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So I want to get that set first and then we'll probably end up doing YouTube that. And then once we get a, a nice schedule for tip baby. Yeah. Cause that's going to definitely switch. Oh things yeah. Around. That's going to be like, that's going to, that's a barrel roll and a half right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're like, Oh yeah. I'll just like play Slate. Of Spar- <laughs> I guess, I'm, I guess <laughs> yeah. I'll just abandon this run and rock. Hey honey, can you, can you take uh-huh. over my game? Just go flex. <laughs> and then, um, uh, you already have enough strength. Exactly. So just, uh, just hit with a heavy blade. You should be good. Yeah. Yeah. So once we get that scheduled down, then uh, yeah, then we'll do it. Thank, thanks for having us fill in for yeah. for fist cakes. How yeah, about dude? How about you guys? Where can everyone find you guys? Yeah. Well, you can find us at uh, uh, both on YouTube and on Twitch at uh, Neanderthal Gaming TV. It's the same for both. Uh, everything we stream ends up usually on our YouTube channel. We stream basically every day. We're playing things like Slay the Spires, uh, Siege, and um, uh, you know, DBFC is probably gonna make more of an uh, an appearance. Oh yeah, sometime this week, me and Fizzcake are gonna have the showdown of a century. And when I say showdown of the century, I mean I'm gonna whip his punk ass, and it's gonna be I'm not even gonna break a sweat. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Jungle Ball <laughs> f- f- Fighter Z, tune in for oh. Fizzcake versus Matt, where Matt. I just gonna... want to see Fizzcake ruin him though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then just I'll challenge like... him to a two hundred dollar money match and smash and win. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, but that's where you can find us uh, on Twitter. We're at Neanderthal GTV. Matt, uh, put me over to the no, no, stuff. no, because we still have a co-host that's not that's here right. yeah, that okay, we so should still pimp out true. since he's like fifty percent of the show. You, you selfish asshole! All right, my you bad. Selfish asshole. So Fizzcake, our glorious uh, co-host who is usually here but cannot make it today, um, you can find him on YouTube, uh, uh, YouTube.com/slash Fizzcake. You can find him on Twitch at uh, Twitch.tv/slash Fizzcake, uh, and uh, he's usually doing a lot, uh, kind of. The same at, at the at the moment. Um, mm, he, Monster Hunter. Every once in a while, his inner his inner persona, uh, he, the, the the spirit within the strategy guide comes out and tells us how to play games. So uh, you should really check that out uh, when he's able to to do that. And that leads me right into the twit uh, the Twitter account, which is Twitter uh, at the Fist Cake, and that's where you can find out when he's doing those cool special events. Uh, as far as Con Comcast specific information, we have our Twitter accounts for the uh, the podcast. It's at Con Comcast. Uh, we have a an email, uh, constantcompletecast at gmail.com, where you can send ideas and suggestions. Uh, of course, we stream this live uh, usually at 3 p.m. Pacific time on Sundays uh, at uh, twitch.tv slash concomcast. Uh, all episodes are available on YouTube. Uh, the audio version will be available on your favorite podcasting app, and both are released on Wednesdays. Any last words, guys? No, no. thanks for having us. Yeah, Hope thanks for coming to on. see you, what, uh, Tuesday, Divinity? 
Yep, yeah, Tuesday yeah. for sure, Divinity. Pro- we'll probably do something similar on Monday, play DBFZ, and if you guys want to hop in the chat. Another group, group hangout time. Yeah, because that's a lot, of, right. a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for hanging out. Oh, and yeah, I forgot I had to do the intro again. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. 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 I'm doing, I'm doing.